hi folks this is anurag sidana and this is my third video on foible business process engine till the last video we covered how a manager can get a list of holiday approval requests and can approve one of those in a holiday approval system so if you don't know what am i talking about please check my older videos on foible and now in this video we'll be covering the next user task which is how a user how a user can accept a approved holiday so this is the basically redundant user task we are just added to get more clarity about the probable business process engine and also after that we'll be checking how can we see the complete states on which through which a process have gone through the life cycle of a process so uh, yeah let's get started so now the manager have approved the holiday and again so we can see that after the external system call the it triggers this holiday approval handler and after this it comes to this user task so basically if we see that using this sequence flow so it goes to another user task which is holiday approved task now at the end a user need to confirm that okay now i am also accepting this approval so we need to make this functionality also so let's go to holiday controller and here we'll go and accept holiday method we'll copy paste so in service we'll go and accept holiday yeah so basically we are just uh, uh, making this user task as complete using the task id so it will get as completed so after that it will work and it will accept that holiday and this user task also will get completed and it will move to the end state we can see here approve end and it will move to the approval end now if the if it doesn't go like that and approve was failed approve was false then how did it work it would ideally come to holiday this holiday rejection handler so now we need to make this class also go here So holiday has been rejected it should come here and we'll come to we'll check controller and if you'll see it holiday request and approve task goes like this every time we are just made a functionality of approving the task so let's say we are accepting a boolean variable also here named approved and I'll type it as approved it's a path variable so here we name it as approved now we'll also be passing approved here I'll go here and also make the changes here approved so here we will be passing a pool dot boolean value so it will pass the boolean value whatever is being passed by this uh, controller now after that a user accept the holiday now what else functionality is missing so now we can also here if we we'll go to bpmn file we can also see the user tasks which are being assigned to a particular user or particular employee so if we'll see here using this process variable employee we can get the uh, all the tasks assigned to a user so we can also may write a new api that for a user for a given user what all are the these tasks whatever uh, are the assigned to a user using this assigning so i'll go to this controller and So get user task. This one will copy. And 
go to holiday service so what we are doing here is we are creating a query again to query the tables then we are saying that the assigned task candidate or assigned should be equal to this so which is the employee name okay so the employee name was the name ideally so this should not be hard coded you should accept it from in the request itself but every time we are creating we are applying for the holiday we are using this name as an employee name and we are passing it to the variable named employee so this variable being is being accessed by this uh, process definition and whatever is the variable we are passing in the request which is employee name currently we can get the tasks for that user so that's why we are using the hard coded value currently so we are passing the employee name as employee name and it should work so let's run the application so now our application is up so let's test it out so this is the first method to deploy then after that apply for the holiday so let's say two applications are there now we use get all tasks to the manager we are getting two here let's say one of this is approved in both of these the employees employee name so let's say an employee has applied for the holidays two times so here we use this id and we will mark it as approved okay so we also change it to have a boolean variable also so we'll mark it as true so now we can see that it worked so the holiday has been improved now there's another api which we need to call for the getting the task for the user whose name is employee name so let's hit it so we can see that there's one task here so one thing to notice it until the holiday request for this user is approved you will not see the data here once it's approved then only you'll see the data here and also so when it moves to the end state also will stop getting the data here so there's one more api so th there's one more api we have made in which a user can accept the holiday that is that uh, that was for the second user task so this is here so we just need to copy this user id and not user id sorry this task id and hit so it will return 200 means it was accepted and now if we'll hit this api again you won't get anything here as the task is in its ended state so if we'll go here so after this user task it goes to the sequence flow approval end and the task has been ended means it means it reaches to its end state so now oh this is worth working everything is fine so one more thing we can do is now we don't know still how the process is moving and from which state to the to which state the process is going so we can get the details of that also so there's something called history that history of the flowable we can get so let's code it yeah so to see the history of a project so let's write down an api we'll go here in holiday controller and so this is the api i think yeah so write down it here and now go to service first copy paste then i'll explain so yeah so what this process is doing or what this method is doing we we'll, we are passing a process id here and corresponding to the process id it will give the states from which it goes and so here we have get the history service from process engine so process engine variable we have initialized here and after that we are getting the history service here via this history service we are writing a query so history service create historic activity instance query so it basically gives us the history active list of historic activity instances now there's a condition that uh, the id should be the given id and also the process it should be in finished state 
and after that these are the extra uh, 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 extra parameters we have passed over the query that it should be ordered by historic activity instant and time and it should be in ascending order and we should be getting a list and we are storing it in the list and after that we are just traversing this history activity instance list and we are printing down the time uh, duration time and the get activity id here so let's run it so our application has started let's test it out so deploy the engine first now apply for the holiday If you go here, you should get nothing in user task, but you should be getting this in managerial task. So let's say the manager approves the holiday. Okay, it's approved. Now in the first API when we applied for the holiday we are process, uh, we are printing the process ID using that process ID let's call our history API so we'll see through which completed through which completed historical activity this process has gone through so we hit that now we can see so it went from start event yeah, the start event got triggered and after that it uh, went through this start event approval task so the the ids are made like this employable so that it's readable and after that it goes to approve task then approval uh, then uh, approval takes place then after that then through that uh, decision we go to next uh, basically we goes to next user task okay so now this is the external system call after that the next user task is there so if we'll go here we'll see we are getting a task here now let's say an employee accept this holiday so if we'll go here and the holiday is accepted so now we'll hit this api again so if we'll see so flow start of the event then approve task then decision is made then after that it's approved and then it goes to next external system call then after that the next user task come which is holiday approved task then after that the user accepted the holiday and it goes to an end so this is working fine it means yeah yeah so this is it with the flowable engine so if you like the video please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and at the end an expert advice if you want to have a diagrammatical uml diagram for uh, via this uh, ppm and file so like this so there are uh, there are plugins which are available in intellij itself but i'll suggest not to use that because it can break your intellij so if you want to convert either use an online tool or use uh, eclipse id uh, and there's an there's a, there's a, a plugin in Eclipse ID called BPMN2 modeler. Use that so that would work efficiently. So yeah, bye bye.